After weeks of fighting, determined residents in Third Ward have turned back efforts to transform back part of their neighborhood into an historic district. That's right, and Fox 26's political reporter Greg Rugen is here tonight to tell us why so many people were convinced that the measure might do more harm than good. Greg. Yeah, that's right, John and, and Rashi. The, the term historic district sounds pretty appealing. But when folks living near Riverside Terrace started uncovering added costs and long-term responsibilities, a majority quickly soured on the city's deal. The battle over turning Third Ward's Riverside Terrace into an historic district is over, and neighborhood residents opposing new regulations and the likelihood of higher taxes have prevailed. Please don't subvert the will of the people of Third Ward. We view this as a land grab dressed as a historic designation. Those against the measure went even further, calling the effort a Trojan horse for gentrification, setting in motion the pricing out of many longtime African American homeowners. We know what happened in the Heights to our relatives and their friends once it became a historic district. Let's be clear, historic districts do not preserve black people in these districts. The larger community has expressed that they don't want it and documented that in the initial vote. Supporters of the historic designation pushed back, claiming it would only impact a single block. All of these other people don't live in the area that this proposed historic district covers. None of them. Mayor Sylvester Turner was unpersuaded and in the face of consensus on council, pulled the proposal. But quite frankly, I don't intend to wade into this water anytime soon. Later over lunch, community leaders celebrated the rare and successful bucking of City Hall. We want everybody to stay in their homes and afford their homes, especially seniors. It's when they said, this is happening whether you like it or not. You know, who wants to hear that? Nobody should be able to take your property rights. I don't care what their title is. This is Texas. That should not be allowed by anybody. As they pursue deed restrictions to offer at least partial protection, Riverside civic leaders are cautioning neighborhoods citywide to remain alert because their enclaves could be targeted as well for a designation that comes with consequences. In the newsroom, Greg Grugan, Fox 26 News.